Hi scholars, welcome back. What we're doing today, we're looking at polygons. So we're continuing our study of basic geometry and we're looking at polygons. What are polygons? So it's, it's a Greek word actually having two Greek roots, like poly meaning many. So whenever you see the word poly, the origin is Greek and it means many. And gon means angle. So polygons have many angles, right? Which in effect also means many sides. So many sides and many angles. Now, there are certain criteria that a polygon must meet in order for it to be classified as a polygon. So it has to be straight, it has to be a plain figure, that means it has to be flat, two-dimensional, not three-dimensional. It should not have height, it should just have length, width, and it has to be closed. So a curve is not so a shape that has any any kind of curve or arc attached to it is not a polygon even if it is closed and flat so all three criteria must be met all three must be met it must be flat so it must be a plain figure flat not raised up not three dimensional so a box is not a polygon a ball is not a polygon, right? It cannot be curved, it must be straight. All sides must be straight. So even if two sides are straight and one is curved, it's not a polygon. And all the corners, all the sides must be closed, right? So polygon must be flat, closed, and straight. And remember we said the polygon has many sides, many angles. These two are automatic. <laughs> Once you have many sides and they are closed, you automatically have many angles as well. Both interior angles and exterior angles are created because remember in the polygon we have line segments joining, right? Meeting and they automatically create angles on the inside as well as on the outside. So then, if we're saying that there must be many sides and they must be closed, then the first polygon must be a triangle. Do you see that logic? Because two lines cannot be closed. If it only has two sides, if it's closed at one end, but the other end is open because it's just two lines. So the, 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 the first polygon is a triangle. Of course, there are many different types of triangles. And we're going to do a video just on that, just on triangles. Right? We're going to do, they, they, are, they are going to get their own video. They are so special. Triangles are so special. We might do a video also on quadrilaterals, they are also special. But let's do a quick rundown on triangles. So triangles, the prefix tri means three. Tri means three. So triangles have three angles and clearly three sides. Of course we say they have to be closed. Now this is just an example of three types of triangle. There are other types. This is an equilateral triangle. It has three equal sides. So these strokes tell you that the sides are equal. This is a right angle triangle. Of course, you can see the right angle here. And the longest side is called the hypotenuse. This is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides and one that's not equal. There are other kinds of triangles, but basically the triangle has three sides and three interior angles. Of course, three exterior angles also created on the outside. 
quadrilateral. Quad indicates four. Quad indicates four. And there are several types of quadrilaterals. I think I'm going to be doing a video just on quadrilaterals. Just like I'm going to dedicate one just for the triangles, I think the quadrilaterals deserve their own special video. I do believe so. We have the square. This is a polygon with four equal sides. We have the rectangle. And later we're going to realize that the square is a kind of a special kind of rectangle. But for all intents and purposes, we're going to pretend that it's, 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 it has a, a category by itself, right? So we're putting the square by itself, even though bear in mind the square is just a special kind of rectangle. So the rectangle has parallel sides equal. So these two sides are parallel to each other, they are equal. These two are parallel to each other, they are equal. The square is a rectangle with all sides equal. Still, the two parallel sides are equal to each other, but they are all equal in the square. Special type of rectangle. The trapezium has two sides that are parallel and two sides that are not. The rhombus and the par so all the sides in the rhombus are equal, but it's, it's different from the square in that the sides are oblique, they are slanted, whereas the square has straight sides, ver two vertical, two horizontal sides that are straight. The parallelogram is similar to the rectangle except that the lines are oblique, at least two of the lines are oblique. Right? And we have the kite, which some persons call the diamond, where we have Two equal sides at the top, two equal sides at the bottom, and this is the shape of the kite. Those are the basic quadrilaterals or four-sided polygons. Now we have special names for at least the first ten polygons. You can know the, the, the special names for at least the, four, the first ten. So we know the triangles are the three-sided polygons. The quadrilaterals are the group, this, that's a group name for the four-sided polygons. A polygon that has five sides is called a pentagon. And these prefixes, some are Latin, some are Greek, but these prefixes indicate the number of sides. Right? Penta means five. Hexa, six. Septa, seven. Octa, eight. Nona, nine. Deca, ten. Right? You can use the prefixes to help you to remember how many sides these polygons have. Pentagon, five side. Hexagon, six side. Septagon, seven side. Octagon, eight sides. Nonagon, nine side. Decagon, 10 sides. Now, just because they have five sides doesn't mean all the five sides have to be equal. They can be, but there might be five different five sides of different lengths and still a pentagon. So when the polygon has all sides that are equal, we say it's a regular polygon. And when the sides are not equal, we say it's an irregular polygon. Now you will notice, for example, here and here and here, where I put similar strokes on the sides. The strokes that are similar indicate that those sides are equal to each other. So for example, here, all the sides have one stroke. That means all those sides are equal. And... In this triangle, three equal sides, we call it an equilateral triangle. In this triangle, these two sides are equal. You notice they have two strokes, and this side has one stroke. So it's different from these two. So these two are equal, this is not. 
This is an isosceles triangle. In this triangle, all three sides are different. Lengths. This has one stroke, two strokes, three strokes to indicate that it's three different lengths for that triangle. This is a scaling triangle. Right? Three different sides. Three different lengths of the side. So if you notice in the kite, these two sides are equal. These two sides are equal to each other. So we can have a regular pentagon or an irregular pentagon. We can have a regular hexagon, all six sides equal, or we can have an irregular pentagon, six different sides. Regular septagons, all seven sides equal. Irregular septagon, seven different lengths. Octagon, same way, regular. All eight sides are equal to each other. Irregular, eight different lengths, and so on. Right? So you know in the square, that the square is a regular quadrilateral. And we, we said it's a special kind of um, rectangle, right? The trapezium, however, is irregular. The sides are different lengths. The rhombus is regular, but the sides are not strictly vertical or horizontal. They are oblique, right? So. These terms that I'm using, some of them you can go back to the video that I did on the basic terminology. The basic terms used in geometry, you can check that video out if you don't know the meaning of some of these words I'm using. Oblique, vertical, horizontal, and so on. You can check that video. Right, so this is the basic, um, basic information on polygons, right? We say that poly means many. Gone, angle, which, which essentially means sides too because if you have many angles, you automatically have many sides because it's the sides that create the angles. And we said the polygon must meet three criteria at the same time. Not two of them, not one, all three must be met for it to be classified as a polygon. It must have straight sides. No curve anywhere. No curve. Straight. It must be flat. So it must be a plane figure. P-L-A-N-E. Plain, flat, straight. So I think I need to write, I have, I have plain and flat, which actually mean the same thing. So I left out straight. Right, so I'm going to bracket these two. They mean the same thing. Flat, plain. Okay. So it must be plain or flat. It must be straight. And it must be closed. No opening anywhere. All the sides must be connected to each other. And there will be many sides, at least three. So the triangle is the first polygon. At least three sides and at least three angles. So the three-sided polygons are called triangles and there are many types. We're going to do a video just on them. The four-sided polygons are called quadrilaterals. Again, there are many types, and they too deserve their own video. So look out for those videos, right? And then we have special names also for the ones up to 10. I think the others probably have special names, but you don't hear about them, and you probably don't need to bother yourself about that. So the Pentagon, five sides. Hexagon, six sides. Septagon, seven sides. Octagon, eight sides. Nonagon, nine sides. 
decagon tensiles. Try to know at least these. Use the prefix to help you to remember. Alright? So guys, if you have benefited from this video, which I really hope you have, because this is laying the foundation for your further studies in geometry, you are a scholar, and so you know you will have further studies in geometry. Am I right? Yes, I am right. So I hope you have benefited, and if you have, just drop a line to say, thank you, miss. Show me that you appreciate my effort. And share the video so that other students may benefit just like you did. Leave a comment to say thank you, as I said, and also comment to let me know if you want me to do videos on particular topics. I will do videos on all the topics in your syllabus, I promise you. That I guarantee. But if you want me to speed it up a bit, to do a particular topic that you're having an issue with, I'll do that for you. Just let me know what it is. If you have not subscribed, I would recommend that you do so now and to click that bell so you'll be notified as soon as another video drops so you can stay on top of things as a scholar. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.